Hi Aquarius. So this read is going to be for you. Um, we'll start with my my oracle cards and then I'll move to uh, my tarot deck to clarify. All right, universe, what messages, <laughs> and that one kind of wants to fly out, so I'm going to grab him. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Third eye chakra. Ooh. So that one sounds for sort of your psychic, um, sort of intuition, sixth sense kind of thing. So what else do you got? universe let's build on this well <laughs> okay I think it's time to start pulling cards then suffering in silence Ooh. patience and planning choose wisely and the heart chakra um, which usually has to go with uh, relationships and healing Mm. Well, I'm thinking you definitely have um, some choices to make coming up, and that'll probably have to do with your planning. I'm thinking planning maybe a new life, a new path for yourself. Um, I just want to build on this. So I got sacrifice, uh, discontent and boredom, financial and material changes, accelerated motion, and disruption. Um, I definitely feel like you're going through a very, a very emotional time. Um, probably suffering from some depression, maybe anxiety, um, a lot of sadness, and maybe you've decided to make a change in your life you've decided to sort of disrupt whatever cycle that you're in and sort of remake your life new and maybe you're struggling with um, exactly which path to take and that's where your um, choose wisely comes in feel like maybe you're trying to make a new plan for the future I'm gonna draw a few more of these before I grab from there I'm just feeling a pull So I got movement, choices, decisions, uh, the throat chakra, which speaks to me of um, of communication. Um, I got the new beginnings card as well, and rest and rejuvenate. So I feel like you've been in a very dark time in your life, and and you've decided to to make a change. Or maybe in the process of of making a change, making a plan um, for future to change. So your situation, um, how I wonder. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw some more, some more cards here. I'm gonna ask the universe to give us some tarot cards to help clarify this new path that you're gonna be taking. Um, maybe give you some, some advice, give you a little bit of direction in case you're struggling with it, uh, or maybe some affirmation that yes, you've, you've chosen the right path as well. Um, so universe, if you can, if you can clarify for us, for, um, for Aquarius here, Ooh, there we go. Okay. So we'll start with these guys. So I got the Empress and I got the five of pentacles. So the five of pentacles speaks to, um, sort of going through a rough time financially as well. And the Empress can speak of, of new beginnings, exciting new beginnings, and and sort of a fertile future, uh, personal growth as well. Um, I got the Hangman, um, which to me speaks of um, feeling like feeling like you're held back but the thing about this card is what like what it represents to me is that um, you would be the only one holding you back um, from 
from the possibility of this new this new venture, this new path succeeding. I also got the Five of Wands, which speaks of arguing, um, drama, uh, negative interpersonal relationships. And I got the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like feel like you've been moving from this negative situation that's maybe been maybe been causing a lot of drama in your life. Um, a lot of negative interactions with the people around you, negative feelings leaving you feeling depressed, um, probably isolated anxiety, and and you've decided that you're not going to live that way anymore, and you are going to be moving forward with a new path. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune shows to me um, that that's, that decision will end successfully for you, that you will have positive things coming your way. And I got the Death card, which also speaks to... Um, transition and sort of letting the past go moving past that as well um the knight of pentacles uh, also speaks to the um the planning patience and planning um something that you've been working towards for a long time uh coming to fruition uh the seven of cups which also um is sort of a choose wisely card it also speaks of having multiple options um but weighing your options very carefully and, and picking what's going to fit best for you. I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles and uh, the Seven of Pentacles, which also speaks to a financial um, abundance. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles can speak to the sale or purchase of a house, but it can also speak to an inheritance or just coming into some money as well and the seven of pentacles might be building on that um what you've been planning for financially um is about to come to fruition here you're about to manifest um some abundance financially um i have the knight of swords and justice and i think the knight of swords um it also spe speaks to um a swift change in your life um it's sort of i think i got yeah i did get accelerated motion here too so i think it ties in with that uh, whatever change is going to be happening uh once i think once you've made your choice things will change swiftly and and the knight of swords can speak to that change feeling sort of chaotic uh because it it just sort of boom 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 everything's just happening falling into place as well and the justice to me in this case speaks to um you staying balanced and grounded during all these changes um and not getting too stressed out uh. so the ace of wands i got as well which also speaks to um new beginnings and the three of pentacles speaks to to a financial or career I think for me in this case um, is what it feels like uh, that you've been working towards sort of things are slowly getting better things are slowly starting to pay off you're starting to see starting to see the rewards here and the eight of wands also speaks to communication which sort of goes along with the the throat chakra so I wonder if the communication isn't isn't you deciding what you want sort of verbalizing what you want Verbalizing the new life that you want and the direction that you're going. I'm just going to draw a few more here. So I got the lover's card and I got it in um, the same draw as I got the tower. Um, and the tower tends to signify something ending abruptly and disappointing. So I'm wondering if you you are coming out of a breakup as well, and maybe that has to do with a lot of the um, the negative dark feelings. Um, definitely seeing though there will be abundance in your future. Um, I got the three of cups, which can also it usually signifies celebrating and I think that ties into your ten of pentacles and your seven of pentacles with this financial windfall that you're going to be coming into I'm going to draw a few more of these guys and then a few of these guys just to sort of clarify everything and sort of bring the story 
all together here. So we got the Six of Wands, which definitely represents a, a triumph, a positive triumph, and the Four of Wands, which represents setting the groundwork. Um, I also got the Moon, which can signify there, there might still be things that are hidden from you that you haven't seen yet. Um, and I think that might tie in to, to the sort of choose wisely and the different choices card is you're still sort of learning what your options are, you're still you're still trying to to think them all through very carefully and sort of um, plan all different aspects of it so that you can you can make the right choice there. So you got spiritual union, partnerships, and alliances, um, awareness, uh, memories of love. So I think in this case. Um, these cards are speaking to, I think they're speaking to your own spiritual growth um, and sort of letting that past negative relationship go, letting those negative feelings, um, all the loss, all the heartache, um, it, it shows um, a personal growth and coming out the other end of that. I'm just going to pull a few more here. I got foundations and achievements, intuition, and firm foundation. Okay, so to me this read is all about you coming out of a very negative relationship, um, a, a pretty good breakup, um, caused you a lot of depression, kind of put you into a really dark place in your life, and you just got tired of being there, and you've decided, okay, that, that's enough, I need to turn my life around. Um, so you have a lot of different choices open to you, uh, you're, you're very carefully thinking through all your options, deciding where you want your life to go, what you want your new life to look, look like. Um, I believe that once you've made your choice, um, once you've taken that leap, you've, you've made that option, you've, you're trusting your intuition that you're, you're on the right path, you've chosen the right path for yourself, I think you're going to start to see, um, a lot of abundance of different kinds, definitely financial abundance from what I'm seeing of the cards, but I'm also seeing um, a spiritual growth and a personal growth as well. Um, and, and I believe that this is all going to be setting um, a firm foundation uh, for your, your new life, your new beginning. And um, it's going to be, it's going to be a very positive change and you're going to probably look back on all this stuff and and even though it was negative I think you'll be grateful because I think it it pushed you in this direction um for a, a positive change in your life Alrighty, guys well I hope that was helpful to you take care